This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro has been chopping around over the past few sessions, though ultimately the market is pressure to the downside and could be seen dropping back towards next key medium term support at 109.12. At this point, any rallies are classified as corrective while below 1367, and it would take a break back above 1367 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Sterling dollar. So cable has been locked in a consolidation over the past few months, but the market is trading within a bearish uh, uh, consolidation while it holds below 135.33. If the market trades back lower, it should take out the 30 year low, the plus 30 year low that we saw back in July, and head down towards the 125 area. Only back above 135.33 will take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains confined to a downtrend with the market now looking to put in the next lower top at 104.32 ahead of a fresh downside extension which will be confirmed on a break below the 2016 base and multi-month low at 98.99. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss remains confined to a range bound trade roughly between 108 and 110, and a break on either side is going to be required for clear directional insight. Until then, stall selling up towards the range highs and buying down to range the towards the range lows is the preferred strategy. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains pressure to the downside after stalling out recently ahead of 78.35, the 2016 high, and this opens the door for fresh setbacks towards 74.21, which is next key medium term support. At this point, any rallies are classified as corrective with only a break back above 77.58 to compromise this bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been showing signs of a major base over the past few months, and there is risk for additional upside beyond key highs right now at 32.54 and towards the 135 to 140 area further up. At this point, only back below 126.55 would compromise this outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has shown signs of topping out after recently pushing to a fresh 2016 high at 74.86. Look for a break below 72.04 to strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines towards 69.52. Back above 74.86 would negate the potential topish outlook and expose fresh upside towards the 77 area. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has recently rolled over, taking out critical support at 2147, and this exposes a deeper drop in the days ahead towards that June base at 1990. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of and below 2165 on a closed basis, with only a break back above 2165 on a closed basis to put the pressure back on the top side. Gold. So gold has seen some setbacks in recent trade, though ultimately this market continues to be confined to an uptrend and very well supported into the 100-day moving average. If we see any dips towards the 100-day moving average in the 1300 area, expect those dips to be very well supported in favor of a higher low and fresh upside extension eventually towards and above the 2016 peak at 1375.